What's up YouTube, this is Sean, and I am back with another awesome video. In this video, we are going to be focusing on the front and back part of the body armor for Master C. And uh, yeah, let's just jump right into it. So right here, I have most of the front of the uh, chest armor laid out. I'm going to start by assembling the chest piece and... Uh, Basically do one side and then do the other side and just merge them together. There's going to be a lot of hard angle cuts. Now I normally just do slight angle cuts but with this armor there will be some pretty hard angles because uh, there's some corners and a lot of undercuts and v-groove undercuts. You can see right there. Now that I have the chest piece assembled it's time to attach the um, I'm gonna call it the v-neck and there's an undercut right here which kind of folds up and that's gonna stick to the trap area and notice I'm staggering the the foam just so I can get uh, you know a little more contrast there looks cooler too and yeah right here these are where the hard angle cuts are going to be and uh, if you do slight angle cuts you'll get a bevel but this right here is going to be more like a corner, but not quite a 90 degree corner. So I'm not actually making 45 degree cuts. Actually, I never really make 45 degree cuts. I just do um, slight angles and hard angles. And for these corners, you're going to need some pretty hard angle cuts. Now that I'm done with that one side, I'm going to go ahead and repeat the process for the other side. Just going to do it in mirror fashion but notice I didn't do it in the same sequence but I don't really think it matters the sequence as long as um, you get all the pieces in the right spot but you definitely want to work from the um, middle out instead of outward in I don't know if that makes any sense it's kind of like building a spaceship you start from the center and work your way out and then you merge it at the center and then you have a hole. So uh, yeah, and if you've never built a spaceship, then uh, yeah, I don't know where you've been. Alrighty tidy, now that I have both sides assembled, it's time to merge it down the center, just like that. And then you should have something that looks like this. All right, let's move along. But before we do, uh, there are some undercuts here that needs to be filled in with some hot glue. Um, you don't actually have to use hot glue. You can use uh, super glue and some scrap foam like I did on the helmet. But filling these uh, undercuts in will help define the, uh, the corners, the inward corners, which you'll see later. Now it's time to move along to the back. And uh, I'm going to start by assembling the collar piece. I guess you can call that the back collar piece. Let's call it the upper back portion. And once I have that assembled, then I'm going to attach it down to this back piece. And notice there are some V-groove undercuts along with some just undercuts, which um, could be filled in with um, hot glue. Uh, it's not really necessary because other parts are going to be glued onto it but yeah if you want your lines to be a little more defined then then fill it in with some hot glue or scrap material with super glue because uh, that's what I'm doing now when you're filling in with hot glue you want to make sure you keep it open until it's cooled down because if you leave it closed then you're basically just gluing it closed so yeah now it's time to attach on the uh, other pieces. Now this is where the hard angle cuts come in. These are quite a few hard angle cuts actually. The, the upper back and the collar also had some hard angle cuts. So they're, they're a little more, they're a little more deeper than, you know, a bevel. If you know what I mean. I'm gonna do the other side like that I guess with the back I'm kind of just working from the center out there's really nothing to merge in the center because the center is one piece 
And here are the side pieces, which got some undercuts on there, along with some, uh, well, actually, it's got some V-groove undercuts, along with some regular undercuts, which I'm also going to go back and fill in with hot glue. But right here, this is a corner. And then, I don't know, when I use uh, floor mats this thick, it's a little bit easier to get these uh, shapes. But I'm pretty sure it's possible with thinner foam. I don't know, I never really tried building armor with like 5mm foam. But I'm pretty sure it could be done. You know what, I'm going to try that on a future project just to see how it turns out. Okay, now I got the most outer piece connected on that side and now it's time to do the other side of the back. Alright, now that I have the um, all the pieces put together, I'm going to attach this little piece right here in the bottom. Now it's probably one piece in the pattern but I did cut it in half just so I can utilize more of the scrap foam that I had laying around. Now that I have both the front and the back put together, it's time to attach them together over here or at the uh, trap area. And it just goes on just like that. There's a lot of hard angle cuts right here because I got to get those corners in. And uh, yeah, basically just goes on like that. And uh, starting to look pretty legit if you ask me. Well, I think so. I mean, it's not screen accurate, but it's mass to see enough for me. I mean, I try to keep it as simple as possible. Um, good cosplay takes time. And, um, you know, I like to take shortcuts. I try to make things easy, too, for other people to follow along. But uh, this is pretty tedious. It's a pretty complicated build, but, you know, it takes time. Alright, now that I have the front and the back put together, it's time to attach the, uh, the rib portion, which is going on just like that. Now, I do eventually cut the sides so I can get into the armor, but you see here later on, um, I'm installing the uh, lower trimming of the armor, and uh, there's a little filler for this spot right here. So far, so groovy, and I am digging what I'm cooking. I hope you're digging it too. Now I'm gonna go through and heat seal the foam because we are getting close to finishing it up. This is the abdominal piece, not much to it. There's some big groove undercuts there. And I have it attached to the uh, upper portion, just like that. Just some scrap, uh, craft foam. I have the sides sliced so I can get into the armor. And I'm going to put some Velcro, some craft foam. But I'm gonna stick the craft foam onto the, uh, the front part just like that. And put on some Velcro right there. Now I like using the hook Velcro facing outward and the loop Velcro inward because when I paint it, the, the uh, hook Velcro can take paint and still work but if you get paint on the loop side of the velcro it doesn't want to work as good anymore so yeah and I put this little support beam in the back now you can actually use cushion I don't have any cushion but it's just to keep the armor up because when I put it on it it felt like it was too low but yeah that's just to help it stand up off the body a little bit all right so this is what it's looking like so far from the back and here is a side front-ish angle view. And uh, yeah, I'm thinking it's going to be a really cool cosplay. And you can actually use it for other stuff too. Like, I don't know, maybe a spacesuit or a Martian suit. Something like that. I don't know. It's up to you. If you're into this kind of stuff, I mean, if you're really into it, then check the link in the description down below. And uh, make sure you subscribe because I am going to do a more in-depth tutorial on painting. Still gotta do the arms, the legs, whatever. But uh, yeah, don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment. And uh, yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one.